Today I want to talk about one of my favorite backpacking stoves. Just kidding. We're not backpacking today. We're car camping as a family and I do want to talk about this awesome Solo Stove Ranger Fire Pit today. This is something that I've been using for several years now, but this is the 2.0 version of the Ranger Solo Stove uh, Fire Pit. And we're going to cook our dinner on this tonight. We've got chicken, asparagus, peppers, onion, and a top sirloin steak. We've got a cast iron Solo Stove griddle that goes on this little stand and we made pancakes and bacon on it this morning. So the Ranger Fire Pit is the smallest of the fire pit options from Solo Stove. They did just release the new Mesa tabletop super tiny fire pit, but for the large capacity fire pits, the Ranger 2.0 is the smallest that Solo Stove offers. And initially when I first started using the Ranger Fire Pit, it wasn't quite everything that I wanted it to be because it's a bit bulky and at the time I didn't really have the options of being able to do any cooking on the Ranger and now you can see this little stand that is on top of this. This is an additional piece that you can purchase to then put a cast iron griddle on top of the stove to then cook on it. And what I love about the Solo Stove products is they're essentially smokeless. And this is something that if you are a backyard fire pit kind of person and you want to have a wood burning fire pit, this is the way to go, honestly. Down here at the bottom of the fire pit, you have these air vents that pull air in, it's double walled, and as and the fire is burning inside of the pit, you get this double burn that makes it essentially smokeless because it burns more efficient. The coals and everything burn down super, super well. And you don't end up with everybody in the group having to constantly move around the fire pit as the fire is burning because wind is blowing that smoke into people's faces. But an important caveat to this is you gotta have the space and the desire to want to take something like this out on a car camping trip. And oftentimes, I don't always have the space and the convenience of being able to take something that is kind of bulky like this just to have a fire and to do some cooking. It's not always as convenient. But for occasions where you want to cook over a fire and enjoy a more ambiance filled evening around a, a fire, this is a great option. So we've got a nice coal base down in the bottom of the fire pit here. We're gonna feed just small twigs into it to keep the flame going, but I don't want a massive amount of heat coming up from the fire. So really relying on that coal base. We're gonna heat up the cast iron uh, griddle here. We've got a top sirloin steak, very large. <laughs> I'm so excited about and some, asper and some asparagus. Oh baby, let's do this. We're having a great time. This I just find to be a very unique and different and really fun way to cook your meals when you're out on a camping trip. So it's fun to have things like this that make it available for you to cook a big fatty steak and some asparagus. And next up we've got chicken, peppers, and onion that we're gonna do kind of like fajita style. And that's gonna be, whew, delish. All right, so first taste of the steak. Whew, that's hot. That's a good steak. It's got really nice flavor. I love cooking on 
cast iron. It provides really nice flavor, and especially when you get a good seasoning on it. We cooked bacon on this this morning. Ah, oh, this is good. The asparagus is nice and tender. Great flavor. This is the way to do it. All right, everyone, that is cooking dinner on the Ranger 2.0 fire pit from Solo Stove. This thing is awesome. Like, I love the food that has come off of this on this trip. It's quite convenient, but like I said earlier in the video, there are some things about the size of it and some constraints to consider when trying to choose if this is the right thing for you. But if cooking delicious food like this is a priority for you, I'd highly recommend checking out this as a system. Uh, just, I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> it smells amazing. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. Check out the Solo Stove. Link's down in the description. Hope you have an awesome day. See you on the next one. All right, so the chicken, the peppers, and the onion with the fajita seasoning. Oh, baby. This, this is awesome.